Hello and welcome in Research Asia Company Limited. I'm Pankaj Kumar Dube and today we are going to talk about skill-based economy. Skill-based economy is actually all about your skill and the potential to perform in different segments. Skill-based economy. When we talk about the skill-based economy, that means quaternity sector. In quaternity sector, we are going to perform different skill. Skill means if I have to give some example, that means you have some expert quality to perform in the particular field. In the banking sector, you can be a finance, financial analyst, you can be a banker and that specific role requires some specific quality. If you are working in other segment like research, then you need some specific quality, knowledge about that specific field, that particular area you need a depth knowledge. If we divide our economy, we divide in the three category underdevelop, developing and developed country. Why they are de developed when we analyze, then we can see clearly that country have more developed the quaternity sector. Not primary means their industry is performing in agriculture. But that contribution to economy from the primary field is lower than tertiary. 21st century we have the another sector which is called quaternity sector is a different sector from primary secondary and tertiary actually quaternity sector is completely based on the research and in that research there is a multiple role to contribute like you can be a researcher you can be a data analyst you can be a data collector you can be a data transformator or you can be a data developer, data cleaner. There are multiple roles and you can interpret that data in information. So this one is the basic finding for quaternity sector. So when we see the developed, developing and underdeveloped country, there is a big line to understand, big signal to understand for us the most of developed country like America, Britain, Singapore and most of the European country, Canada is also there. We can see there are maximum number of people are contributing in quaternity sector means they are delivering their skill to develop their economy. Why I say Singapore? Singapore is a developed country in our ASEAN region and when we see the economy of ASEAN or Singapore then in Singapore economy we can see the primary sector contribution like agricultural product contribution it's very small the secondary manufacturing sector contribution it's very low but when we go for tertiary sector, that is service. Service sector contribution in Singapore is very high. The skill-based economy, the quaternity sector. Means if we go to Singapore, we can see the multiple industry which is working on finance, which is working on hotel and tourism, and uh, uh, hospitality, education, we have our best financial system which comes from Singapore. We have our best hospitality system, best hospital, best doctors which came from Singapore. They are coming from the Singapore. So we have to move our focus to quaternity sector and we have to develop our skill to enter in quaternity sector. How it can work, it's we have to understand, we have to know and we have to find out how to enter. Actually, I want to tell one story about uh, me and my experience when I was uh, working on a project I got a request from my client and my client was asking to conduct a market research project to set up an 
high-end restaurant in Singapore. So I visited in Singapore National Library and accessed the academic thesis which is written from many different scholars. And I found out the things which can lead to our project, can guide us to complete that project. But there was a difficulty that the thesis paper, the research paper, have some errors that become difficulty for us. But again, we contacted those researchers and they told us like uh, when they were writing, they were confused and they had no supervision to write that thesis. Their academic system is the best. There is no doubt. I'm not questioning on their academic education system. I'm actually we had to use that paper for our secondary data resource. After that, we were going to design the questionnaires and then after we had to do quantitative and qualitative research for completing our project in Singapore to set up high-end uh, high restaurant. But that leads to a lot of confusions and uh, difficulties. So after that, uh, we uh, find some different uh, resources and uh, we minimize the error from uh, those researchers, uh, researches. And uh, after that, we done that. But uh, most important things after that project, we found out our systems need some supporting hand to enhance our research quality. So after assigning this, that uh, high-end restaurant uh, setup project in Singapore, we sit together and we try to find out the solution for this problem and our team suggested us and after that we work in this from last six months and we found out like why we not go to the university and educate our students to support their academic thesis or academic research and we also found this is possible only in one conditions, like how we can access the students. University are not going to allow us to teach their classrooms, to not teach their students. So we found out why we are not going to start a workshop because the supporting system which we are thinking to provide to students who have skill, who are doing their MBA independent study, MBA research, or doing their PhD research paper. So for improvising their research quality, they are good in the academic license because they got support from the academy. Academy are doing on um, their size, that part is really appreciable. But the things is, when they are going to use tech part, using the technology in their research, like designing their questionnaire, designing the links for conducting survey, putting the data in SPSS or Excel, cleaning the data in Excel sheet or SPSS sheet, cleaning the errors, minimizing the errors. That part is only possible with expert who are working in the market research or who are working particularly in this field. And those guys are always in the back end. It's not possible to bring them in the front end. Like we have the great example about big data. A lot of people or maximum number of people are talking about big data, big data, big data, big data. 
big data they are talking they are just speaking and listening but they didn't get it what is big data the problem is big data is not the front end part big data is back end part we need technician to collect clean transform and interpret the data which we got from many different resources when we talk about this thing to the people to general people they not understand they just get the fear about we have to precise what we want what we are going to do and where we can get this how we can get this so for doing this our team has designed a workshop in bangkok and this workshop is named skilled base economy workshop market research live on project market research application and research data on live project from 16 november to 8 of december bangkok thailand market research theories learn how to drive business decision throughout consumer insight introduction of market research industries and career insights for entrepreneurs customer experience and managing the customers market research fundamentals market intelligence and industry analysis with strategy driving business throughout market research product launching simulation marketing products and brands market research project application and final report presentation understanding how consumer thinks feel and behave qualitative and quantitative technique for discovering consumers and market insights focused group and in-depth interview research planning questionnaire designing observational method presentation skill communication effectiveness data analysis presentation and sps's market research data planning data entry data analysis using survey tools like sps's big data presentation for consumer research introduction to statics for professionals qualitative tools for data analysis market research panel web mining and social media monitoring industry application for market research preparing survey data set data cleaning market research project management and field operation understand how primary research is conducted in the field basic of projects management project management operation project management process basics of field data collection field work operation challenges for data collections quality control in field back check and qc process so this skill we are going to deliver our participant who are joining our workshop and in this workshop we are delivering the content with academic professor is the one part and another part is the expert we are bringing some expert who are teaching in thai university they are there to revise that lesson or they will deliver that lesson in eight hour just one day they will deliver whole book to the students and the next part is the data cleaning transformation designing and interpreting for uh, report writing we are bringing eight different expert in three different day to deliver this content and after having this class the participant will have a great understanding about their potential and they are ready to move in the market research industry 
and straight away they can graduate from the university and they can enter in the industry the market research industry with this paper and they are ready to welcome they can join any market research company anywhere in the world with this clear understanding what we are delivering in the project uh, in the workshop so this workshop is going to very very important for our students our participant and they can become an independent skill expert like they can if they want they can be a moderator they can do any moderation work for any market research company or any other industry they can do the moderation work they can do translation work also they can do interpretation data transformation work data cleaning work and this quality is bringing their professional career in the next level enhance their future according to profession their earnings can be maximized with this small workshop i would like to thank you for